Okay, well here's my first attempt at uh, turning this um, simple free piston Stirling engine into a refrigerator. And you can see that thing being uh, oscillated inside there. And you can hear it. And that's an uh, electromagnet. And I'm driving this with a uh, 555 timer circuit, a little transistor circuit. It puts out a square wave and I can vary it with that potentiometer there, the frequency, and I'm driving it off a 12 volt battery. And uh, I'll turn this down a little bit so we can hear it a little bit quieter. Notice it's still moving in there, but then sound has gone down. But uh, this first attempt was a failed attempt. And I just want to show you that I've got the two thermometers there. One's the outside temperature, and one's the inside temperature at the bottom of the engine inside a, um, a paper cup. Now, had this been working, that temperature there, which is showing about 80 degrees, would be much less than that temperature there, which is 80 degrees. It's a real warm day here where I live. And you can see both temperatures are the same. So at this point, uh, I have not succeeded. Uh, this is a failure, but a learning process. And uh, what I've got, like I say, is I'm driving this with a 555 timer circuit of 12 volts. And this is the engine, if you don't remember it from my last videos. Um, what it is, is it's uh, soda cans, two of them, one inside of another with a tomato juice, one of those small tomato juice cans with latex diaphragm, a support, metal support, and then another latex diaphragm. And on the uh, driven engine, I used a C-cell battery as the weight and got this to go into a resonance and uh, keep going with heat. And supposedly, if you run this backwards, vibrate this part of it, it makes that part cold. And uh, this uh, engine design, this simple engine design, uh, it's called a free piston Stirling engine, and it was developed uh, by uh, Blade and Semi 112 in Hungary. And um, they've worked on these uh, simple free piston Stirling engines a lot. And I highly recommend you look at their channels, these two gentlemen's channels, to find out more about how to build one of these simple free piston Stirling engines. But like I say, this was my first attempt here to make a refrigeration unit out of it and it didn't work but uh, let me let you listen to the frequencies I'm using here I've got a radio here so you can hear it that's the lowest and now I'm going to go up to the highest See, you can't even see that moving, but it's vibrating, believe me. I can feel it if I touch it. And I don't know, maybe there's a certain point, a certain resonance uh, where this thing would work. I don't think so. I think what's happening here is I've got uh, way too much clearance on my displacer and master cylinder here. And then the, the whole setup is just not uh, set up correctly to be a refrigeration type of engine. But like I say, this was my first attempt at it, and uh, I will be going uh, going on from here. But at least I got this thing to vibrate, which is what I wanted to do. And what's in there is some electromagnets and uh, some permanent magnets, neodymium permanent magnets. And the coil gets uh, turned on and off and pulls those magnets up and down and it's kind of like I showed in my last video where you could make electricity by using that same setup basically uh, just use it with heat on the bottom and vibrate that magnet and you'd have electricity coming out of that coil but this is what I was most interested in was, was this uh, refrigeration idea and like I say at, at this point right now I'm not there <laughs> so anyway thanks for watching uh, 
I don't know if I'm going to succeed on this uh, this part or not, but uh, the whole thing's real fascinating to work with. Thanks for watching.